Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you one of my personal favorites called Tunak Tunak Tun. Okay, so we're teaching you two sections of this song: is the chorus and the post-chorus section, the two most catchiest sections in the whole song. I'll give you a preview of both sections. Okay, here, first section is the favorite section. The chorus section goes like this. Repeats. And then the post chorus section is this section, it goes like this. Check it out, so it goes. And then it goes back to the chorus section, which is the. into it awesome stuff okay so let's learn the first section first here we go so okay here we go first section is difficult because it's playing double notes okay it's playing like harmonies as well this is how it is okay so we're gonna break it up into parts let me see we'll break it up into three parts all right so here we go the first part goes like this right hand it starts on this double note E flat G flat here middle C C here for reference go up an octave C we start the E flat and G flat here so it goes E flat and G flat double note for four times. So one, two, three, four, and then down to the double note G flat and B flat here. And that's the first part. Okay, one more time for this first part. So it goes E flat, G flat, double note for four times. So one, two, three, four, and then down to G flat, B flat like that. Yeah, but it's essentially not four notes in a row. It's like two and two. It's like a one, two, one, two, like that. Okay, so it's a one, two, one, two, duh, like that. So it's like two nat, two nat, two. It reflects the lyrics as well, okay? So yeah, so that's the first part. Left hand, okay, we're just gonna do uh, the chord, okay? We're doing the block chord first and I'll tell you the pattern at the end of this section. So E flat minor, which is E flat, G flat, B flat. So remember this chord, okay? It's a fully black note chord. So what you do, you play the chord with the first note, like this, together, like that, and that's the first part. One more time for this first part, so it goes together, like that. Okay, and then the second part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so we just repeat it like this, two knack, two knack, two, like that. Okay, yeah, so the two parts we've learned so far of this section, we play like this, check it out, so two knack, like that, two knack, two knack, two knack, two knack, two knack, two knack, okay. Now, moving on to the third part, the third part is a bit harder, it's different here, so it goes E flat, G flat for four times once again, so two knack, two knack, and then it changes, goes up to the G flat, B flat here, and then, it goes double note for D flat F down here for two times, and then double note C and F, like that, like that. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes E flat, G flat, double note for four times, so two knack, two knack, up to G flat and B flat, and then down to D flat and F for two times, and then C and F, like that. Yeah, it's like da da da, it's lower voicing, that's why it's like different. Da da da, like that. Okay, and then the top voicing is da 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 like that. Okay, but anyway, yeah, so like that, da 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 like that. Okay, that's the right hand. Left hand, exact same E flat minor again. So what you do, play on the first. So together, and then together, like that, like that. So together, together. So yeah, this time we have two E flat minor chords with it there. Okay, so just fitting with the rhythm. Okay, so back to back, all three parts will be played like this. Check it out. So it goes. Like that. Yeah. Okay, can be a bit difficult because all these are like black notes. It's easy to slip off the notes because they have smaller area compared to the white notes, okay? So yeah, make sure you just practice slowly first. Like that, and then just put up the speed, okay? Okay, after you get this, then apply the left hand pattern, okay? If you're still a beginner, just stay with the melody and chords until you can get it comfortably. But if you can move on to the pattern, um, like on the left hand, substitute this pattern for all of the chords. So for E flat minor, you play the lowest note followed by high two notes, followed by the lower note, which is actually the highest note, I'm not playing an octave below, and followed by the high two notes again, like that. So dun 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 dun, this pattern. And you apply that to the playing, so like this. Like that. 
awesome stuff. Sounds awesome now, okay? So, hope you enjoyed this that section. This is my favorite section of the song, awesome stuff, okay? Anyway, after this section, let's move on to the second section. The section, the da 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 part. Okay, so here we go. It's pretty simple. There's a pattern to it as well. So we'll break it up into one, two, three, four, five parts, all right? So yeah, five parts, but it's really simple because the first three parts are actually exactly the same. So here we go, the first part, F here, middle C, C, F. So F for six times, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then G flat, B flat, and then back to F for six times again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two G flats. And that's it for the first part. So one more time, remember it? So six Fs, one, two, three, four, five, six, G flat, B flat, and then six Fs, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two G flats. And that's it for the right hand. Left hand, two B flat major chords, so B flat, D, F, so two of them. Yeah, with those two B flat major chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, so F and B flat major together, so together. F and B flat major together. And that's it for the first part. One more time for the first part, so it goes together. Like that, okay? So after you get this first part, it's very awesome because you actually got the second and the third part as well because basically you repeat the first part for three times and that makes the first, second, and the third part. So it just goes like this. So back to back, all three parts we've learned so far, we play like this. Second time. Third time. Okay, and now moving on to the fourth part. The fourth part, first half is same. It's just once again, it goes like this. It goes same. And then the last two notes in her, instead of two G flats, this time it's two Gs, like that. Okay, so this fourth part is pretty much nearly the same as the first part once again, but the last two notes instead of two G flats, it goes two Gs. Okay, so remember that, that's the fourth part, like this. G, G. Yes, good game, okay? So anyways, yeah, back to back, all four parts uh, will be played like this for the second section. So goes. Second time. Third time. Alternation. G, G, like that. And then moving on to the fifth and last part of this section, right hand it goes, uh, four G, so one, two, three, four up to B flat, and then down to G, F, and then five more Fs. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And that's it, one more time, so it goes like this. It goes G, 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 up to B flat, G, F, 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 like that, and that's the right hand. Yeah, once you get that left hand, we have two chords here, the two chords are E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat, and second chord is B flat major, B flat, D, F. So with these two chords in mind, so E flat major and B flat major, the two hands together goes like this, G and E flat major together, so it's together. G and B flat major together. Like that, one more time, so it goes like this, together. Together. Like that. And that's it, okay? So you're gonna be like, uh, back to back, all five parts like this. So after you get this part good with all these melody and chords, then you can start adding extra stuff to this uh, section to make it sound more like the, more exciting. It's like, you can be like, uh, do some improvisation on the left hand, combine the harmonies with the right hand, you can be like, uh, wait, wait. Section, the tuna tonight. Awesome.
some stuff. And there, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson on one of my personal favorite tunes here, okay? So anyways, yeah, if you like these type of tutorials, go ahead, check out the rest of my channel. Literally have multiple thousands and thousands of other stuff for you to enjoy and learn from. A lot of stuff. And that's pretty much it. Uh, check out my website as well, bestpianomethod.com. Linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. So go ahead, check that out for yourself as well. And that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.